Hello, Internet. We are here again on my YouTube channel. My name is Joseph Braun, and today we're going to take you through the first part of portrait retouching in Photoshop to make your portraits look sharp. We have the lovely Lucy Mueller here um, who has modeled for me a few times, and I'm just going to get to it. So the first thing I do in my portrait uh, workflow is create a new layer uh, so that's command J and as you can see I have a new layer here I'm gonna rename that RT for retouching then I'm gonna work on the skin so for the skin you want to zoom in now her skin is really she has really good skin so there's not a whole lot to do here but uh, you press the J key and as you can see it's already there the spot healing brush tool this is a great tool for just taking away little imperfections in the skin. I have it set to normal. And you just click away on little areas of skin that are, you know, a little discolored or she really has nice skin, so there's not a whole lot to do here. Um, I'm just gonna go through and it's very easy. You just kind of size it. Now see, as you can see right there, it's screwed up. So, yeah, um, We'll just do here, maybe make it a little smaller there. If it's too close to an edge where there's contrast, sometimes it, it doesn't do a good job, so you have to, to be careful. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time doing this. You get the general picture. Um, just removing that. Um, you come down here. If you want to remove that mole, um, down here. Okay. Now for areas like this that are right on a, a, a contrasty area, um, I don't think that's going to work. Oh, I think it did work a little bit. Oh, we got lucky there. Okay. Um, well, I was going to say for those areas, you probably want to use the cloning tool, the cloning stamp tool, which is a little more complicated than the healing brush because this is a brush tool. Um, you can hit the option key. I'll show you how this works. You can hit the option key. See how there's like a little hair here? Probably want to remove that. This would be perfect for for the for this tool. So you hit the option key and select where you want to uh, get your information. So I selected there, and as you can see in the version of Photoshop I'm in, it gives you a preview of what that's going to look like there. So that looks good. I have that. I need to set that to 100%. It's like any brush; you can set it to whatever opacity works. And as you can see, I'll just select it there on the edge, and then I'll come down here and match the edge. So it's it's pretty simple. Um, you could you you could only use this tool. You don't. It's just it's a little bit more work than the than the healing brush. So as you can see, I'm just getting rid of some of these hairs um, here. And the closer you get and the more you look, the more <laughs> issues you, you find. It's these little hairs here. Um, all right, but you get the general idea. I'm clicking and it'll actually fall at a at around the the sample point if you if you have it here and it's diagonally up and you click here then you go over here it'll still be sampling the same area so just something to keep in mind um, so you get the general idea I it, if I was retouching this I would spend more time in this in this uh, step but I'm gonna take this layer off really not you can't really see a whole lot but I'm gonna you can see I did remove some blemishes and there you go so the next step is I decide what kind of density I want for the image and I do that with the curves layer I'm gonna come down here this is what I do for 99 percent of all images I've, I've selected the curves layer. Now I'm just going to set it to luminosity because I don't want it messing with the color just yet. Color comes later. And I'm going to zoom out so I can see the image. 
and I'm just gonna play with, just play with the curves tool until I, until I find something that I like. Um, I do have a curves tutorial on my channel, and if you don't understand what I'm doing right now with the curves, it might be a good idea to pause this video and go and go check that out. Okay, I like this. This is starting to look a little bit more dramatic. Um, fits the fits the tone of the image, adding a little bit more contrast there with the spotlight on her face. I'm gonna say okay, I like that. See what I just did with with the curves. Now, as with any adjustment layer, it comes with the mask right here. White reveals and black conceals. So, if for whatever reason I want to selectively have this. Uh, this let's say I just want that on her face. I just want that contrast on her face. Then I can invert this uh, this white mask um, by filling it with black. And as you can see over here, my background is black. So to fill with the background, to fill a mask with the background layer, you hit Command or Open Apple and delete. The foreground, it's Option delete. So as you can see, I just you can't you can't see the adjustment layer there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brush tool and paint white where I want to show that adjustment layer. Now I liked how it looked on the whole image, but I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes. Now you can see I just have that effect right on her face, or I could have it, you know, let's say I just want it on her skin. I don't want it. You just paint over, um, got a little bit of her hair there, but I can paint over that. Okay. I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to keep it like that. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have it selective. Now, I want to do this image in black and white, so I'm going to come down here again to the adjustment layer going to select hue saturation and I'm going to just drag this there's a million different ways to do black and white in Photoshop this is just the most basic way um, because I'm gonna I'm gonna do more adjustments later with curves to do that just just know that this is just a very basic way to do it and if you wanted to do selective black and white you can just do like I just showed you with the curves um, with the mask here so um, if you wanted to paint with black, let's say you just wanted her eyes to be to have color, you could you could do that, you could do something like that. Okay, but I'm not gonna do that. Just wanted to show you that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to make eyes freaking awesome in Photoshop. And we're gonna guess what? Use curves again. Love curves. So we're gonna come down here to curves. Now for this curves, I'm gonna select linear dodge add it's gonna really you know take up the um, the density and so what we're gonna do here is invert this mask again and then we're gonna poke holes in it with the white brush right over the eyes I'm gonna zoom in so you can see her beautiful eyes and I'm gonna do it at a low opacity so let's do it at maybe 10 show you how this works and you can fill this in and actually give it a little bit more pop around the eyes. I'm just painting over it again and again with with a uh, with and this brush tool is the hardness is at zero. So it's very feathered around the edge of the brush. That's how I do it. Um, it doesn't make it, it it you don't leave digital footprints that you're there. So I'm just going to do this a little bit more. Good. A little bit more. OK, good. Let's just say I like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to show you what I did there. That's what I did with the eyes. All right, I've been going on here for a while. I just wanted to show you a few things and on portrait retouching and how I do my workflow. There's a million different ways to do it. But this is how I do it. It's very simple because you can come back and um, play with different um, different things and, and make adjustments later on. That's why I like doing it this way. So thanks for watching my show.